Hi, I'm Bob Nussbaum with Cisco, and I'm here at uh, VMworld to show people just how easy it is to mix and match uh, unified fabrics, unified I.O., fiber channel over Ethernet, the technologies of tomorrow with the storage networking technologies of today. So let me talk about the demonstration that we've been running here that just is leaving every, everybody leaving the booth smiling and saying, wow. And the problem is people think about uh, unified fabrics and they say, gee, that sounds great. I'll definitely look at that the next time I'm building a whole new data center. And the, our message here at this demo is very simply, which is that's just wrong. That's the wrong way to think about it and the wrong way to get there. So what we're showing here at the demo is a set of uh, four physical servers. Um, two of them have traditional fiber channel host bus adapters. One of them is plain old iSCSI running over a gigabit ethernet NIC. No acceleration, nothing fancy. And one of them has a new converged network adapter that is running fiber channel over ethernet. And he's going into the Nexus 5, uh, 5000 series. And the Nexus 5000 simply splits out the traffic. The fiber channel storage traffic goes into the MDS, which is the storage networking switch, and then back to the fiber channel storage. And if there were um, LAN traffic being generated, that would go to a CAT 6K or a Nexus 7000 that would be down here via an ethernet port. But we just didn't put that on the diagram because this is really about the storage part of it. So all we're doing is we have a virtual machine that is streaming a video off of the storage, and we're just v-motioning that around from all these servers. And of course, you see absolutely no disruption, and that's the whole point, that the fiber channel over Ethernet is really functionally indistinguishable from the existing storage network technologies. And so the message that customers are coming away with to which they have this big, oh, wow, reaction is that I don't need to do this a whole data center at a time. I don't even need to do it a row at a time or a rack at a time. I can do this a server at a time. I can even do this a half server at a time. And you say, wait a minute, what's a half server? Well, a half server, if you think about it, um, most servers that are connected to SANs are connected by best practice to SAN A and SAN B, two independent fabrics. And so that customer said, I'm going to convert the edge of SAN A from fiber channel access with host bus adapters to your storage network adapter, um, to converge network adapters uh, and hook them into a Nexus 5000s. And so they'll do that, they'll run that way for a few months, however long it takes them to get comfortable with it. Then they'll do the next first few servers for SAN B, for Fabric B, convert them, take out the NICs. Then when they're good with that, then they'll do the rest of it. And they've converted at their own pace, on their own timing, uh, no big throw the switch and pray that I have a job in the morning. And so that's it. And so the real message is um, network innovation for virtualization is sort of a good generalization for what we're doing here. But the real message is what we had on the slide. It can't be that easy, can it? Yes, it can. So thanks for coming to uh, see us at VMworld, either virtually or in person. Thank you.